Okay, hello stream. Rushing into raid night. Um, we had our school's talent show tonight, so things were pretty busy. Um, just rolled in the door and got the kids down for bed, so trying to get raid invites and stuff sent out now, so let's get this going. Hey, everybody. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, who? You guys already have a group going? Uh, yeah. no, about two, but... Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll shoot one out. Gross. That one cannot join in this group. What's up, everyone? Hey, how's it going? Yeah. I finally got my hair cut. I feel like my head's like five pounds lighter. It was nice. Nice. I hate having long hair. Maybe that's been blocking Dang. your internet signal. Huh? Maybe your hair's been blocking your internet signal. Probably. <laughs> I have my. So I did buy a, a computer. It is on the nice. way. Nice. Where'd you get it? I got a pre-build from Digital Storm. My younger brother, he's pretty big into streaming and he knows a bit more, like he built his own. So he kind of like told me which parts to upgrade if anything and, but I don't want to build one. It seems stressful, especially with uh, work. I mean, if you've never done it, like it's, it's nice to have someone guide you through it, but you know, I've been building my own for 20 years. Yeah, the Like it seems fun. It'd definitely be like a project I'd want to do in the future, but my younger brother, he's like, yeah, it took me like 10 hours to build my first one, but I feel like now I could build any in under three. And I'm yeah. like, well, I'm just trying to game. I don't want to. No. <laughs> Some, yeah, something to make it really easy is uh, PC part picker. You can like yeah, pick yeah. your parts and see yeah, if they're compatible with each other and whatnot. That's the, actually like exactly the site that he sent me yeah. to build originally was the, the PC the only, part builder. The only great thing about building yourself is you can make sure that the factories aren't putting any cheap products in there. Uh, you can make sure you get the the good stuff everywhere throughout it. Yeah, and the mm -hmm. main thing the main thing to remember with pre builds is when you get it, just make sure everything's plugged in correctly. Go through it, like open it up and uh, yeah, double check everything, all that stuff. Yeah, at least this one it it looks like it has like a three year warranty on it. So I'm like, okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I always get the good warranties with this pre builds. All the parts be outdated before the warranty's gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm super stoked. Now I'm looking at this Asus screen that's uh, 27 inches, so I'll upgrade from my 13-inch MacBook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 27 is oh a good sweet spot. <laughs> Mechanical God is here before clouds? Hello, everyone. <laughs> I am uh, I'm on a new schedule. I'm, I'm on a strict timetable, or whatever that, that one <laughs> guy says. What are you talking about? No, I have no idea. There's, like, some, like, thing that people transform into and he like talks about timetables and I, I think it's nolsey that always does it you're 100 percent incorrect dude i'm gonna figure it out guys rip my new mog i just saw an abomination appear in front of me lo and behold it's spuggies I like it. Mine's better. I threw up in my mouth. Do you guys like my mog? I'm throwing it back with this one. You guys remember? So your sixth, sixth uh, year old birthday party? That yeah. helm reminds me of like the Oakley razor glasses. Dude. I think I look pretty good. Well, it looks one of us. This, this is the outfit he dies <laughs> in. Sausage. Alright, we'll take a picture after and permanently document it. Mog buff, one show. Oh. Yeah. If that image isn't in the click the thumbnail for the kill video. <laughs> the kill video. I don't want it. <laughs> it's just it's just Spuggies standing there. The Spuggies roaring in his pink pajamas. Easy. All right, let's kill some stuff. I'm 
so excited. We had our school's talent show tonight, and uh, that is my last, like, music event for the school year, so I'm done. So do, you, do you have summers off? Like, I. Okay. I, that sounds like a bad question, because everybody's like, duh, he does. But everybody tells me that summers are really busy for teachers. Is that true? Summers? Yeah. Uh, it depends. Yeah, party and... You have to, um, you have to have a certain amount of uh, professional development credit, and so a lot of the times you have to do like um, trainings and stuff like that to maintain your certification that you have to keep up once every five years. But um, outside of that and planning and stuff like that, like for me personally, no. But I'm also not the most obsessive teacher. Like. I work really hard Adam. when I'm at school, so that when I'm off, I'm off. And then the summers, I focus in on my worship pastor job and lessons. So I do, a, I do a lot of projects that I can't really be on site to do throughout the, the school year and stuff as much. So during the summers, I try to focus in on maintenance on the church and stuff. Yeah. Sorry, Vicaro. I saw you go active, and I had to go for it. I feel like that's refreshing. It's good. It's good. It is. Oh shit. Oh shit. Don't do it. No kill Shreffy. Kill Shreffy. Oh, chaos. No. Yeah, chaos. Won't. No touch. No. Touch death. <laughs> no. I had AMS up, bro. Fuck you. But I do know a lot of teacher friends that like completely redesign their room and like plan all new curriculum and like they just. I'm, I'm not. I'm not that type of. He's not I'm not. I'm not, an, I'm, I'm not an elementary woman teacher <laughs> the whoa no Yo, sir nice i'm try. like i don't i don't decorate or anything like that they, they go crazy yeah that that makes sense my girlfriend's a teacher and she goes like so hard with her room <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot apparently true true evening gamers Oh. What a evening. Did I just hear Rag throw some shade at some lady teachers? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't Six shade. New, uh, new, what? new rag it's, rag it's not. Shade? It's not shade. It's a. Uh, it's respect. It's uh, acknowledging that I'm a slob and I've had uh, organization <laughs> as my professional growth goal for the past three years. Slob. <laughs> I. Uh, I'm more of a pile by pile guy, you know. By pile. Yeah, file That's by file. File by pile. L. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's kicking all your guys' ass. Not me, though. Healers, you can stop healing him now. Uh, now that he's nice and cocky. Joke's on you. I haven't taunted this thing once. <laughs> that sounds about right. Misdirect, pop cooldowns. Dude, shock. Everything that shock puts in the dark side of the moon is like my girlfriend's nightmare fuel. Yo, Tux, where are you, bro? Hold on, I need to investigate. <laughs> That's really great. I do not have a target. <laughs> Why is it you're not Dolphin's Nightmare? What did I do? It's the little things. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's really good. No, I feel like I need to look at it. Oh my gosh, Tux, congrats. Congrats, Tux. Plus. Die. Better get ready to die. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh. I meleeed a bunch. And I'm dead. Dude, is this uh, my 21 halls? Sorry. What? Somebody call a tailor because Shreffy ripped. Okay, okay. It's too early for that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Alright, alright, calm down. That was a good one. <laughs>
Looks like we're making no progs tonight, guys. <laughs> Dude, that kid hitting the other kid with the chair is absolute savagery. I think that's a dummy. Is that that gift that you're talking about? It's a dummy, yeah. Or no, the the one with the kid sitting on the bed is real. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> watching. That's not a dummy. That kid, that dummy's running. Yeah, that kid's a dummy now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a Kill bitch! He stole the kid's brownies. Kill the Did he say something about his girlfriend too, or something? was just brownies. Uh, it's just they're young, it's just brownies. <laughs> Computer me decided that uh, wild, uh, wild chicken was a thing to do. Could, could Panda Pal Cho not make it again? I need more pandas. They're all abandoning you, I should say something. I will take it. Stay up here, her setting. I didn't have faith in our leader. Rip. It's Imagine voice, thinking Spuggies is the Panda leader. What? Move back, move back. I am. Oh, she has you, sweet. That's my point, Clouds. Do you have to have that awkward conversation with them now? Uh, which one? I have many awkward conversations with Spuggies. Yeah, I need a about who's a panda leader? cloak with some valor. If someone could do a cloak enchant, I have some gold. Got that gold stuff. Dude, that's Enigma. He was the resident enchanter. Huh? Yeah, it was Enigma all the time. I gotta hop on my tailor. I think torches too. Mailbox. That's torch. I mean, I'm not like Torts. Torts? Yo, you watch your mouth, dude. I love Torts. I love Torts, He likes his enchants. You watch. Mm -hmm. Torts is a fun guy. Are you able to do Torts? Did you guys see my, my meme? I put Torts and linked his interrupts with two Can I get cats. Stam and uh, Speed if you have it? Can I get a Summon if you have it? I don't know how anybody could be upset with tor Torts. Sorry, what did you need, Chris? Uh, well, friend of the Grummel. Uh, he needs a uh, Speed. Cloak. Thank you. Thanks, Scrub. I'm excited, guys. I think this is going to fall over in a couple pulls. I think we were complicating it way too much. Those were some good videos you made. I like those. I mean, considering we dropped Heroic, too, this is a... Yeah, this is going to be a joke, I feel like. We got up... We... <laughs> Did some prog on our first night, so yeah. for sure. This, uh, Thank you, Scrub. So, Rag, based on the kill video, they tank him in this quadrant first. That's what we're doing. Yeah. That's what I'm yes. jumping at. Okay. Yep, yep. Because yep. that frees it. That frees up space for right. messing with the two halos. And then the yeah. three ring phase, they they pretty much through the through the end of the fight, they kind of just gravitate around the middle because they're swapping to the ad so fast there's never more than one set of puddles and they just kind of create little pockets so there's not like a big clump instead it's just lots of room for movement getting a cauldron here okay cauldrons down are you still doing the everybody soaks and we yep. need to do the second one? Yeah, it's all that's all still the same. Should probably set up wind period group too. Oh, so I'm in the middle of doing that. Oh, sorry. Okay. Or you can just let me come a hunter. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that's aggressive. He's always no, aggressive. You deserve you, it every time, dude. 
clouds keep threatening me. If I keep going on, he's gonna touch me on a bungle, and it hasn't mm -hmm. happened yet. So I'm trying to wait for that. Pizza, are you running two minute trank? Uh, yeah, I'm we're not. Pinnacle, this, I think. Are we doing that, or does it is it one trank per? I switched to two. Yeah, I think we're gonna need the trank cooldowns more than anything. I can give you a tome if you need it. I got a big old stack of them. All right, I got it set up now too. It doesn't make Trank weaker, right? It just no. takes away it makes from. It... Yeah, but you okay. you don't use effervescence a lot. Unless I'm not realizing it, because I could think it's mine. I think I do that a lot. Um. I think I'm probably spotty with it. I should yeah, be more consistent, but... Yeah, because cause all it does is change from Spring Blossoms, so Melee won't have as much of a buff on them with Spring Blossoms. Yeah. That's all that it really affects. Which were ranged heavy anyway, so... Oh, I forgot this was a DR, too. That's pretty cool. It's like Trank Bubble, but for PvE. She also can't get, like, uh, bumped with it or something, right? Yeah, no knockbacks and 20% yeah. DR. It's pretty cool. Oh. Treffy, I was completely inside you, and you went and moved. We did call you already, hide. right? Whoa. We did, yes. Okay. You can open trade with me if you need one. Uh, no, I'm good. I was just curious. I think so. Did I miss lock rocks? I'll, I'll drop more. Do you need one here? Yeah, please. Oh, wait, I don't. Never mind. I think so. Yeah, I'm yeah, nice movies. Such great placement on both of those. <laughs> okay, so we're starting in this quadrant over here. We're starting over here. Dux, you were burning. You said you were burning your symbol after the first teleport, right? Yeah, that's what he's doing. Okay. So, is one of us doing our trank during the um, the stack phase, and another one doing it during the um, uh, ring phases? Are you guys running two minute trank? Yes. We are. Then yeah, that should be able to be done. Yeah, I have it uh, staggered. I have it staggered that way. So Beach is going to start off the first teleport. And um, then, Mofo, you're going to do the second tele teleport. And then, Pizza, you're going to get the first, third halo. And then, Mofo, you're going to have the next teleport. And then, Pizza's on halo again. So, okay. we'll try it like that at first. My note not coming up. There we go. All right. got to rebroadcast the update. Sorry, there it is. Alright, let's take a look at this. I do have board. dynamic I do have dynamic timers. Thanks to Tux for getting those times down. But I added the dynamic timers in there for the halos. So the Halo three, Halo three, those so we'll get first set of three halos in that set. So we need to make sure we C D that third halo. Um, or right before the third halo, like if we're low. And then the third the next third halo there is the one, two, three. That's the next third one. Okay. And then teleport, and the same thing with the Halo 3, the second set of Halo 3s. Uh, we are going to be starting her on uh, X, current X, um, and then after the first teleport, then we'll position um, to wherever the first um, ring comes from, and we'll kind of go from there, but we're going to stay in new X quadrant for the um, two Halo phase, and then once we teleport to the... Um, to blue, uh, then we'll probably play it around the middle. 
Okay. Um, hopefully everybody watched the Sausage video. I'm not really going to go over it because the expectation is that we watch it. Um, and I don't want to create uh, a culture where it's just, it feels redundant to watch the video because I go over it anyways. So I don't want to really do that. So let's go. Based. Do for the culture. Yes. Shout out. Yeah, towards. Does anyone have an armor <laughs> kit? I'm sorry, I, I just forget to buy them. Yeah, oh. true. Same, same. Grab, grab some for me. I finally transferred my demon hunter over. He's my leather worker, so uh, I need to invite Slayos to the guild soon. <laughs> That's nice. Great name. What's up, Ben? You have an armor kit, right? No, bro. I thought oh, you were going to give me one, dude. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to give me one. <laughs> wow, isn't this the raid officer who can't go on? You need to be prepared for raid. <laughs> Five. Even Talk to God, I can't wait to find like another enhanced shaman. One. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> Bait towards the wall. Ring is coming. Spread out a little bit. Four. Four. Three. Two. One. Everyone wants that gold tonight, huh? Yeah. I guess everyone wants to do this. Barrage, everyone soak. Okay, ads coming. You ready? Five. Go! Get him! Ah! Ah! One. Watch feet. Holy crap, we skipped the swirlies again. Now it should be. See, look at that. Wow. Just torch, get out of the way. If she's teleporting, go ahead and move to green. So this is my turn. Banong, please. Okay, rings. It's coming from uh, triangle first. Move a little closer to triangle. Four. Five, four. It was core. Feet, watch feet. Spread out. Soak, everyone soak. Okay, so we're going to look at the log, but um, we're losing a lot of people there, and that should not be nearly that bad. I can tell you that was because uh, we were all Five, stacked, stacked up. up. Is that why? Okay. Four. Three, two, one. Okay, and watch the swirlies here. Eat. Really good kicks tonight, guys. Keep up. Okay, this is the solo bar barrage. Solo soak. I got in it. I'm dead. That's okay. Okay, rings. First one's coming from uh, green. green. Green, green, green. Four. Second one's from star. Kill the core. Four. Four. One. It's really so your feet. Spread out a little bit. Oh, we missed that kick. Everyone soak this, and then she's teleporting. Watch the black. Okay, get to the blue location. All right, um, we'll try to break this just to practice the shield. No, never mind. Just wipe it up. So, Pinnick, the timing worked out where 
during those two halos, I could hit my trank and pizzas was back up for that shield. So I don't know if that would help during the two halos if this if I run my trank there. The chorus resumes. Um. Yeah, look at it here. Because I don't want to get the the CDs too jumbled up, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so the first death was ticking out, so just we're we're not breaking it as fast as we could. Um it might just be our, our DPS comp and how cooldowns line up and stuff, so um that might be a good moment for a health stone or whatever. Just watch your health. If it looks like you're gonna tick out, pay attention and, and just pop something that so was, that you don't die. That death was completely my fault. I had I usually heal with my night fate thing and I was just a millisecond off from it. Gotcha. Um and then next one was a Nova. Uh next one was a double ring. Yeah. And then uh getting hit by an arc. So we'll just uh, warm up and get get more pulls in. Cuz the point that we need to break is uh we need to get to the second teleport with everybody alive and get some practice on the three rings because as soon as we get past those three rings, it's a kill. Yeah. With you know with with any sizable amount of the raid alive. Really nice guys. damage on the core, though, guys. Yeah, really, really good. Guys, definitely use your personals toward the end of that teleport phase. And Tux, go ahead and hem directly as we get in there so we can get the buff. Are we hemming and tranking? Because I, I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, we're hemming to trank. We'll be okay. We'll try it this way. Okay. Pizza, hold your trank for about three seconds or so. Five, okay. Four. Three, two, one. Yes. So if AMZ once yours uh, goes away. Five, okay, loose spread a little bit. We got a ring coming. Get that cord down. Hey, Flossin, thank you so much for the sub, dude. Thank you so much. What's up, dude? Everyone soap? No, oh, you're good. I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, engage if I, I felt like we were in trouble. This is not the hard part. Five, Kill the core. Four, three, two, one. It's really switch feet. Okay, this is going to be the solo soak in just a moment. Take it. Solo soak, get out of the way. She's teleporting. Go ahead and move to uh, green. Much better break on that. What do we? Whatever we change, do that. That was good. Rings coming from green first. Core, core, core. Okay. Loose spread, so we're not killing each other, guys. Get healthy. Swirly, watch your feet. Okay, everyone soak towards the middle of the room. Okay, we're going to go up towards new red after the spirit runs out. Five, Drop to core. Four, three, two, one. 
really nice damage on that core, guys. We totally skipped the uh, release. Soak. This is the solo soak. Get out of the way. Got rings coming again next, and then add and an arc. Star, get to star quick. Okay, kill the ad. Feet, watch feet. It's loose spread. Take it. Feet. Okay, this is everyone soaking. And then we're moving to blue next. This is it, guys. Nice job. I right, get to blue. Shark, go ahead and take that. Uh oh. I don't know. I think. Do you guys have too many stacks? No. Okay. Good, man. Okay, this is the three ring phase. Um, we're gonna wipe as soon as my stacks fall off. So let's just practice this phase. But this is likely not gonna be a kill. Because as soon as I uh, get to uh, blue first, take blue. Okay, now we're skipping the second ring. Watch the arc. Green. Second one's coming from green. Skipping this. And then take damage from the third. Make sure you spread. Nice job. Soak. Everyone soak. Nice job on the core. Keep going. Taking so much damage from the stock. Kill the core. Watch your feet. We'll take that. Oh, no, I think it's good. This up. Oh. I mean, Rag's gonna die. We're, <laughs> we're all gonna die. Big defensives? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because as soon as. Actually, you dying? Might have been Pog. <laughs> no, I think, uh, it, I think it still went off. We still took a bunch of damage, but. I tried. Practice the night. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> practice the practice the next ring here. It's get to green. Get to green. Sorry, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Get towards blue. Take the damage from blue. Then gr green. No, green next. Skip green. Skip this next wave. And then you take damage from this third one. And then here's the soak. Everybody would soak this. And then she teleports, and that's the fight. So that's it, guys. Really nice. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I don't. I don't know what killed me. Maybe we It looks uh, like I kicked out to the to the dot. Well, I missed a trink on that third one of the halos. Maybe you didn't have a bunch of stat stacks, but I don't know because. I don't think so. We were doing pretty good about it. I don't. But yeah, I just like was fine on my health, and I just randomly. When did you die? Three minutes, 26 seconds. Yeah. I'm have to look at logs. From what I'm saying, it looks like you died to the dot, and you were taking Never about mind. 15k from each stack every one second. Is that a heal thing, or is that a no, tank? It's a, it's a tank, tank mechanic. Yeah. Okay. It could have been, like, whenever everybody's moving over, maybe, like, all the healers just stopped healing? I don't, I don't know if that was it, or if I just didn't mitigate, or if I had too many stacks. Did you pop a health stone? I did. I wait, wait. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure I used a health stone. That yes, time. you did. Yeah. Next. Go yeah. So I, I th and that's when I popped it too. I think. Does it say the time? Uh, no. Yeah, I don't know. It's not showing. Like your damage taken is not really any different than the other phases in which you were taking tanking her. So. I don't yeah, know. I'm not. Not sure. I guess I'll just be more cognizant of it. Nice. Good input, boss. Here to help. <laughs> I mean, this is leaps and bounds ahead of Tuesday, so... Good yeah, job. for real. We need a yell in port.
<laughs> I don't know if it pops up for you guys or not. Also, um, just type slash range one, and that's going to help you to not be too close to people and take extra damage from uh, being stacked up when the halo crosses. Maybe when you start running when the halo's coming? Yeah, also, really yeah. Yard. It's really just yeah, one yard, yep. Um, and then uh, again, like Shock just said, plant whenever the the halos are coming. Don't be moving because it it's very easy for it to double tick. Intervene, the Shock. Yeah. Five, four, three. God, I'm so two, bad. One. towards the wall here Five, okay, check your range four, first wave's three, coming two, drop to the score one. very nice on the add first barrage is coming we're moving this towards the middle of the room everyone so Swap to the core. Five, four, three, two, one. Beep. This is the solo soak. Get out of the way. Start moving to green. Watch for where the ring's coming from. Star, get to star. Add. Kill, Five, kill the core. Four, three, two, one. Swirly's watch your feet. Spread. I think that was an issue of people moving while the wave hit. Everyone soak. Should we swipe it up quick? Yeah. Five, Just jump. Four, three, two, one. Obliteration arc. So when we, we can quiet movement there, in that situation, we we got an unlucky spawn. It moved to star. Obviously, the easier one would be going to green. Um, but if it comes from star like that, we just move over there quickly and then spread out and plant. And we get hit by the first wave, and we don't have to move. Um, by the time the wave reaches us in that position, the debuff is off. So like, as long as you're in a good position at star and you're spread out and you're not within one yard of somebody, you're you're good. You don't have to. You don't have to move. We don't want to vent his Uh, no, definitely not. We have much bigger fish to fry. Yeah, uh, Vect. I don't have the first two halos, like the set of two halos. I don't have that on the list. We're not using cooldowns for that. Okay. Yeah, we're saving them for the three halos when we're all kind of taking a lot of tick damage. And, of course, the teleports. That's what I thought. I just wanted to clarify because I didn't send it there. And I was like, well, I don't think that was the one. Space space. Yeah, no, it's all good. Uh, you can open trade with me, Whisper. Take it. Yeah, we're pretty close to the kill, so everybody should be on mini. We have a few people that are on mini. Five, 
four, three, two, one. His voice must prevail. Get loose spread a little bit. We got first ring coming in. Five, four, three. Swap to this core. Two, one. First barrage. Everyone soap. We're gonna swap to the ad. Bait the arc. Bait it towards the wall. Nice. Hit, watch your feet. Okay, this is the solo barrage. Get out of the way. After this, she's teleporting. Practice this ring. First is coming from green. Easy. Get towards green. Spread out. Five, four, and then just stay three, here and kill the ad. Swirlies, watch your feet. Kill the core. Just spread out a little bit. Calmly let it wash over you. Ah, so nice. Everyone soap. Okay, ads coming. Let's move her up. Yeah, we got spirits here. We'll keep her here for a second. Up Four, to the core. Three, two, one. Okay. Swirly is what your feet. Okay, this is the solo barrage. We're gonna come to this side. Bait towards the wall here, please. Get out of the way. Okay, we got rings coming. Let's see, they're gonna be green or star. Get ready to go to one of those two. It's going to star. Get to star. Get there and Five, loose spread. Four, three, Feel two, that ad? One. Swirlies, watch your feet. Just keep killing the ad. This is everyone soaking. Okay, everyone's soaking. And she's teleporting next. Don't take the gate there. The gate's for, like, literally right after this. Okay, so watch the people who are alive here for practicing the rings. First one's coming from Five, right next to us, blue. Four, three, the loose spread, two, get hit by blue. One. Blue, green, star. And then we're sk skipping green. And then spread out and calmly get hit by star. And it takes a while, so you could work on topping yourself off with off heels and stuff like that. Just make sure that you're healthy so that when the third one hits, you're ready to go. Hey, okay, jump. That was as lucky as it could be for the three rings. Um, in, in If it was, uh, if it went to star, which is the opposite side of the room, that's, that's the moment where we need the gate. Um, so that's, uh, that's why I asked to not use it there. So don't use it when we're moving to that teleport. Um, actually, we can probably start cheating her down that way. Um, 
so that when she teleports to blue, we're already pretty much standing there. I just kind of wanted to leave that middle op area open for dropping puddles there. Druids and mages dying, but the DK's living. Okay, power, dude. Death's right for the win. Tanky. It's super easy to skip these as uh, DK, though. I just pop AMS and just kind of walk over it or Whisper, stand can there. Can you get the roars to those stack points for us? That'd be pretty awesome to run. Anti magic barrier. I think it's pretty unnecessary, but yeah, to to the teleport points, uh, teleport teleport points. Jeez. Swag is not augment ruining, and I won't hear it from you. Uh, can you augment ruin, please? I only have two left, and then I gotta buy more. I came unprepared. Also good. Post away, dude. Thank you. I'm sorry, we already ready to check. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hey, first um, wave is coming. Loose spread. Focus the ad here. Boost spread. Watch the arc. No Death Star, please. First barrage is coming. Okay. Everyone soap. I just swap to core. Bait the arc. Get towards the wall. Eight the arc. Two, Big damage one. on core. Swirlies. A second barrage is coming. This is just towards. Get out of the way, just towards. Get start working your way to green. Coming, get ready to move. Uh, we're here. Stay at green, loose spread out. Bait the arc. Swap to the core. Loose spread. Unlucky. Swirly, watch your feet. Loose spread. Everyone soak. After this, yep, hit the arc, point towards the wall. Five, four, Add. three, two, one. Twirlies. Nope, nice job. Okay, we need to not be here. Uh, once the spirits ends, we're going to be moving uh, closer to star in case it's there. This is just torts. Get out of the way. Get we're moving closer. Position yourself like on red. Get in between star and green. Yep, get to star. Star, loose spread. Get hit by this. Add. Swirlies, watch your feet. Spread out. Get healthy. Nice job. Get this ad down. Everyone soak here. And then we're moving to blue. So just take the knock towards blue. She's helping us. Get to blue. Green. 
three minutes here. Health stones if you're get low. Sorry, I ripped. Get star quick, take the gate. Five, four, Spread. Three, take this hit. Two, one. Okay, next is green. Skip green. And then spread out, take the damage from uh, the last one. Everyone soak this. Kill this core. Feet, Five, watch feet. Four, three. Eight the arc towards the wall. Oh, that was our second ad. Get this other ad down. We had two ads up. Uh, we have eight DPS dead. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, this would be just torch soloing. Let's at least see the cadence for the second. Um... Torch probably doesn't have ice block anymore. That's okay. Let's look at what this next ring looks like. To star. So you would get to star here. Lock gate would not be up. Loose spread, you'd take the damage here. And then next would be coming from green. It looks like it always works its way around the room. It's never, skip this one. It doesn't ever jump like star, then blue, then green. Yeah, and, then, and then we would sp spread here and take the damage from this third ring. ring. Okay, wipe it up. My soul shape was an update to skip. It's only up for the first of the three. Like, so of the two, three halos, you only have it for the first one. You'll just have to kind of use a health stone on the second one. And then rely on our halo cooldowns. I mean, if everybody survives the first set of three rings, and then we lose everybody who is relying exclusively on the, uh, the night phase skip, for the second set of three rings, we should still have enough to break the shield. Mm -hmm. If that's the only thing that we're losing people to. But also you can use um, transcendence and stuff. Can you turtle it? Oh. Yes, oh boy. you can. Yep. Right. Hey, clouds, I'm just telling you. Just saying. But... Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have to repeat myself multiple times a raid night. You are the only enhanced shaman. It's not funny, okay, Shock? I'm just waiting for the dunkle hole. <laughs> it's not funny, because it's freaking hilarious. Exactly. This is a serious rating thing. Okay, there'll be no joking around. Here you go. My banner for everybody. Until morale improves. <laughs> Five, All right, guys, folks, up. Four, this is it. Three, two, one. Maybe. Whoa! Whoa there! Toxic. Don't be a doubter. Toxic. Oh, got it. Five, four, three. Top the core. One. Loose spread. First barrage is coming in five. Run it towards the middle of the room. Everybody's soaking here. Everyone's soaking. Okay. Ah. Wait. I have my ox out, dude. I don't. Five. Add. Four. Three. Two. One. Feet, watch feet. This is just torch. We're going to start moving towards screen. Yeah, after that second ad, there's no reason we can't just start running her that way. Okay, 
Okay, rings. Star, get the star. Focus the core. Kill this ad. Swirlies, watch your feet. Spread out. Take this one. Everyone soak. Run it towards the middle of the room, please. Where even is it? Oh, the, did they die? They died. Yeah. yeah, guys, when you're for the halo, like we're in that case, we move to star. You Four. get in position and then you don't move. One. Like unless you're dodging a swirly, you just stand still. There's no reason to be running away from the halo. Watch your watch your feet. Like don't don't be panicky. We're we position so that we don't have to panic. This is solo, so No, this is everybody, everybody, everybody. Sorry, sorry, sorry. In, in, in. Lost count. Okay, this is rings. It's getting to unlucky star. Get to star quick. Five, four, three, get there, spread out. Two, one. And get on red side here. So that this next one we're comfortably done. Be focusing on the core. I don't know why it's running way over there. This is the solo soap. That should have been the everybody soak, so I don't know how we got backwards. Oh, it's because the solo the soak. That's that's what it was. Okay. So, right, back to the point you were just making. Um, I think that's a that's an important one because a lot of times we get into place and then people back, like we all back away from the halo, but we just all end up backing each other up into right. the edge or into a corner. Yeah, because if you back into somebody and then you get hit, then you're just blowing two people up, whereas you would have been fine. Yeah, I'll be taking the boss, and there'll be like four, like five people are crowded around the boss. They yeah. die. Whenever, whenever, wh whenever Halo comes up, it's melee is not really a concern. So just everybody's focusing on survival, and range gets the advantage, the ranged advantage of being able to still do things. But melee has to focus on mechanics. If you if you're getting hit by the second ring and you're getting one shot, that means that you're not positioning well on star. So when I'm, when I'm calling get to star, take this first ring. Um, you need to either be tucked in pretty close or on red side, uh, so that um, you don't have to be freaking out and moving when the second ring comes. Nosley, can I borrow your map, please? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Drop in a mailbox if anyone needs. Thank you. Don't be toxic to me, clouds. I'll report you. What do you mean, dude? All I'll I said is you. you just beat your entire Tuesday evening on one pull. Good Look, job, man, dude. I don't have a dash. I don't have a gap closer. I'm 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 slow, and I'm dumb. Close both, dude. <laughs> Bro, what do you want me to do? Run over to black? Sure. I'll do it. Yeah, I'm night fake. I have to save it for the double rings. Yes, Let's Riffy. Skip. What do you mean? Uh, it might have just been too close, being too close to another player, because that'll kill you regardless. I got you. Complain. I think I ran or, someone over. It, yeah, it could have been if you were close to somebody and you take the damage from them crossing the ring and then that depletes your AMS, then you won't have the effect to negate the application of the debuff. So it looks like you did everything right, but it was actually depleted before you needed it. That's my guess. Five, four, three, two, one. His voice must prevail. Purifying 
Reaper's Ring is coming. Spread out. Bait the Ark. Swap the core. All the things. Oh, gosh. I got a couple lamb. Blam! Everyone soak here. Take her, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna chill. Mr. 13K. <laughs> okay, bait the arc, get towards the wall. Swap to the ad here. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice bait on the arc. Swirlies, watch your feet. Se uh, a second soak. We're moving her to green. This is the solo soak. I got a report to buggy after this too. Nice job, guys. It ring is coming. Start positioning halfway in between. Yep, get the star. Four. Spread out. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and get ready to spread out. Take the second. Here, don't back up. Just chill. Everyone soak. Get ready to swap to the core. Arc, bait the arc. Five, four, three, two, one. Good bait, guys. Really nice. Swirlies, watch your feet. Okay, this is barrage. This is the solo soap. Get out of the way. Rings coming again. Got one more set of these. Get the star. Like right about here on X. You can kind of spread out in a nice crescent around it. This core down. Okay, this is gonna be the everyone soak. Get ready to soak. Oh gosh, he's way over there. I got it. Keep scooting back. We got black lines. Watch the black. Okay, we're going to blue next. It's a blue. I want everyone to pop your health stones during this, please. Everyone pop a health stone. Nice job. Okay, first set of rings. Get ready in case we need to go to star. We got a ton of crap there. We need to tank them. Not there. Yeah, we got unlucky. Yep. Get the star. Five, Just kind of right here on red. Three, it's going to have to work. One. Okay, take the damage from this. Spread out. Okay, and we're skipping the second one from green. Get this core down. And spread out, take this one. Get this core down. So really watch feet. Everyone soak. Swap the core. Everybody on core. Bait the arc towards the wall. Nice bait. Watch feet. Okay, barrage, this is the solo soak. Get out of the way, take boss. Uh sorry, Mofo. It's unfortunate. Get towards uh first is blue. Get to blue. Kill this ad while we're going. Get 
damage on blue. Skipping the second ring. And then taking damage from this third one. And then right here, everyone would soak. And then she teleports. And that's the fight. Jump. I don't like, know the Fraser. The problem that I'm having is Reference is sorry. The other days, like you would always take the core and take it over, so I just don't think about it, but since we're doing this new technique, we'll just whoever has the boss, like we shouldn't do core and the boss. It should just be if you have the boss, the other person takes the core, or we can maybe swap on it. I know some uh, it, it it doesn't really matter as long as the core's not yeah. mailing a DPS. Like we just we just need to pick it up. Uh, and keep it uh, ideally on top of the boss so we can benefit from cleave and stuff like that. But yeah, we're not doing any of the weirdness where one person takes it and runs into the black puddles or whatever. It's just, it needs to be picked up so we can both taunt it or whatever. I'm I'm yeah. using either taunt or uh, death grip whenever uh, I can. Two things. Uh, um, after first shield, can we be more closer to the edge between green and yellow just so we, that we have yellow open? Um, just for the, so that we can get there for the soak. Um, and secondly, people are still moving uh, during the ring. Please do not do that. You have killed multiple people on multiple pulls. Stop, please. Look, just because I'm dancing with the ring hits, I'm not moving. Shock, come on, bro. I got you. Focus up. Focus up. Caro said he has that, so everyone just focus the boss. There you go. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Five, four, three, two, one. His voice. Five, four. Up to the core, spread out a little bit. First ring's coming. So, I'm not attacking. Swap to core. Bait. Five, four, the wall. Three, two, one. Swirly, switch your feet. Okay, we can move her. Solo soak, get out of the way. Big tilt. Very nice, guys. Hit rings. First is coming from green, get to green and spread out. Five, four, three, core. Two, Bait. One. Focus core. Plant. Plant, don't move. Watch your feet, swirlies. Everyone soak, mofo, take this soak. Take boss, please. Oh, you already did. Okay, we need to move up to red. We, we need to be out of this location. Five. Core. Get this core. Two. One. Swirlies, watch your feet. Try to put her in that second. Yeah. Spirits. 
This is uh, uh, solo. Rings coming. Get ready to move. It's a star. Just get, like, if you can get on, like, red side, just kind of spread out. We don't need to move from this position. Except for the arc. Move out of that. Watch your feet. Okay, this is everyone soak, and then we're moving to blue. Okay, get to blue. Guys, please don't use the gate. We have a resin 50. Okay, first one's coming Five, from uh, green. Four, Get to green. Three, Add. Two, I'm sorry, it's not coming from. Sorry. Dead POV was wrong. Just jump. Uh, we are making progress. We're making it to the second teleport with uh, a lot more people. Just need to build some cons consistency. Up to core. Five, Loose four, spread and then plant. Two, one. First halo's coming. Really good, guys. Right. Everyone soak. Swap to core. Five, four, three, two, Bait the arc. One. Nice. Swirlies, watch your feet. Get we're moving here. Solo soak. Get out of the way. For whichever ring happens, it is green. Get back to green. Five, Get there, loose spread out, four, plant, three, kill the add. Second one's coming from red. 
Oh. Swirlies, watch your feet. Jumping, like, so yeah, yeah, we should just jump it. Yeah. Like, we can't be losing people Agreed. early. We're just not gonna make yeah, it. Yeah, we're just. We'll There's no point in dragging it up. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Discord silence. Was that just jiggly movement? Yeah, I stepped back. I was fine, and then I just stepped back. Don't wipe in it. You just have a jiggly ass, dude. Come on. It's like the it's like the ocean. You gotta dive into the wave. Yeah. Or, you're talking or, about ass. You're talking about the so, I don't know. I'm so focused on trying to find where be ready for the next one, but we need to take care of the first one first. Well, we can just talk through that real quick. So, uh, yeah. In the in the very first phase, the first ring is always going to come from star. In the second phase, after the first teleport, it's either going to start from green or it's gonna start from star and we're getting there and standing there and then you don't have to, it doesn't matter which the second one's coming from because we're not moving. So you just get to wherever the the first one is and that that's actually true through the entire fight. You'd never really need to know where the second one's coming from because um, we, we get to the first one, we take the damage and then by the time you need to know, you'll see it, it'll be there and then you use your skip, whether that's Night Fae or Vinthyr or or AMS or whatever um, to skip the second ring in the group of three and then just let the third one hit you. So it doesn't really ever matter where the second one's coming from. It's just it, the only thing that matters is where the first one is. Core is coming, get ready to swap. Five, Loose spread four, here. Three, Up to the core, two, bait the arc. One. Jump. So we fucked that up. My apologies. Just gotta build consistency. on the edge to bait but with the way it came in it was on me and I can only take a step to the right and I think I killed a uh, shock so with baiting the arc the problem that I'm seeing is that we're all clustered in such a tight little area that yes we're baiting the arc but then we need to move and the move happens at the same time that the the halo is hitting us so I don't know that the bait is as important as we're making it. Um, I think it's creating more problems than it's helping. So um, let's let's l worry about baiting that first arc less and focus more on spreading out. Because if if the ranged is in an, a loose spread in all directions from the boss, it's going to be much easier to um, to not hit other people when the wave passes over and then uh, move from the arc if you need to. I don't know, just thought. First arc, the first wave hasn't really been a problem, but I mean, if we can clean it up in a small way, then I guess we might as well try. Four, please. Five, four, three, two, we have one. Oh, I probably missed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have. We have analytic. Five, four, three, four, four, one. Four. 
garage. Everyone's so. Bait. Get on the wall side. Swap sure to the core. Four, so both of our immunities three, just soak that one? Two, nope. One. Nope. Move. Hey, okay, barrage. This is so. Oh. I script. Yeah, it's my bad. I guess I didn't see that he got it. You jump off. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to cheese it. Like, I might be getting hit by it. I'm gonna kill myself before you kill me. In real, you can't fire me. I quit energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, we'll just stay here for now, but get ready to move to star if we need to. We're lucky. Get to uh, green. Five. Spread out. Four, three, and just chill. Three, Kill this at Ed. Dodge the arc. Stay loosely spread. Picks. Watch your feet. And here comes the wave. Ah. Relax. I'm not moving. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Everybody dies. Everyone's soaked. Ready to swap to core. Bait the arc towards the wall. Five, swap to core. Four, three, two, one. Arc. Dodge the swirly. Back on boss. This is solo soak. Solo soak. The beacon turtle. You can. Oh yeah. Easy. Okay, next rings are coming. Get ready to move to green. green. We're fine here, green. Just kind of spread around these black puddles. Okay, dodge the swirlies. Just move away a little bit. Don't run over okay, me, I'm not plant, moving. Plant, plant, plant. Okay, and then here would be everyone soaking. Add needs to die. Everyone soak, and then we're going to blue. Oh gosh, yeah, that that that's an issue of that ad. Uh, just jump. So that ad needs to be dead before that soak, because that's happened a couple times throughout our prog. Is he drops the swirlies as we're soaking, and it just screws it. So, but we had a lot dead, so that's fine. Yeah, sure. Did you lose anyone before the second teleport? Yeah, I agree. Not before the first one. Yeah, first. Second one, it's like okay, so you lose you like one person, but. Do I have an auction this time? I don't think anybody does. Tux does. Um, and so does Nolzy, right? Nah, I don't think anybody does. Yeah, I don't see one. Good job, the stemming stone. Wait, we almost have break. Should we just keep going and then you guys can take care of this at break? Yeah. Yeah. Let's oh, get some attempts here. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna get a couple attempts and then at, after break I'm gonna I'm gonna draw something real quick. I'm gonna whiteboard it. Ah, uh, it's doodle time with Rag. He yeah, is. Five, four, three, two. Rag Ross. One. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need hair to be Rag Ross. Okay, add. Bald Ross. Three, two, 
Spread out. No. No. Do not jump. Ready to soak. Okay, Everyone's I soaking. Die. Oh. Everyone in. Ready to swap to the ad. Bait the arc towards the wall. The baits are more important on these when there's not a ring coming. The so baiting right yeah. now is great. That works. Swirlies, watch your feet. Ooh, nice. We skipped the swirlies. Okay, we're moving. So, let's get out of the way. Thanks for the roar. I got you. We're gonna stay here just in case it's that triangle, but be ready to move to star. Get the star. Star. Five, four, three, two, one. Kill the core. Okay, now you're in position. Dodge the swirly and then plant. Kill the core. Everyone soak. Ideally, you want to be on this quadrant afterwards, right? After the first teleport? But like right now. Yeah, right now, yes, that's correct. Cork, we're gonna swap the core, bait the arc. Four, three, two, Towards the wall. One. Take it. Let's roll this one feet. This is the solo barrage. Get out of the way. Okay, we have more rings coming. Baker. Get to green. Green, swap to core. And plant. Kill it before it drops another swirly. There you go. He gets a blue. He can. Should be stacking. Yeah, I'm sorry. Gets a blue. That was a bad call on my part, but. We have enough up to make it worthwhile practicing these rings. Maybe not now. Okay, jump. Yeah, so let's not worry about baiting on the ones that have um, halos. So like right on the start of the pull. Um, but it is it is helpful on uh, moments where there's not um, rings. So if it's just the add and an arc, it's that's it's good. I didn't know she did like hand signs. I should which not have taken that res. Oh, I would have been fine.
must be purified. I'm sorry, Vicaro. I know it's me. <laughs> okay. He just has you on the list now. If it makes you feel any better, I love you and I'm sorry. Love you too. It's all good, dude. If you love him, you wouldn't hurt him. It meant to be spuggy. On the boss, you die. On boss, you die. Five, four, Man, three, three, two, bad. no, like one. during the Halo thing. Oh. First barrage, run into the center. Everyone's up. Hit bait towards the wall. Five, four, three, Get this core down. Two, one. Got the arc and the swirlies. Very nice. Skip the swirlies. Keep removing. Solo, so get out of the way. A, a triangle spread out right Five, next to us. Four, three, two, Swap to the core. One. Swirlies, watch your feet. Now just really spread out. Plant. Plant, plant, plant. There we go. Everyone soak. Okay, let's move up to this top red quadrant. Swap to the core. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice damage on that core. Really good. Barrage, this is the solo soak. Get out of the way, solo soak. It's on me, I'll just die. Good. Rings are coming. Get to green. Five, four, Swap to the core. Two, one. Dodge that and then stand still. Watch the swirlies, but. Okay, this is everyone soaking, and then we're moving to blue. Hey, get the blue. Don't take the gate. Everyone pop your health stones during this. Okay, first set of rings are coming. It's lucky, it's here. Get close to blue. Get close to blue. Take it. Okay, next one's coming from green side. Get ready to skip it. Focus the core here. Skip this next ring. And then just relax. Take the third ring. It's 
spread out. Defensives. Soak, everyone soak. In, in, in. Okay, we got core here. Focus the core. The pizza up in three. Move out of the arc. Swirly, watch your feet. Swirlies again. We got barrage. This is everyone soaking. No, solo soak, solo soak. It's on tux. We got rings. Get ready to move. We need to go to uh, blue. Versus here on blue. Take her. Swirlies, watch your feet. Skip the second ring. And then spread out, take damage from this third ring. This is everyone soaking. Okay, wipe it up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and break, um, see if there's things we can optimize and come back. Stream be right back.
buggy. What's up? How's the interrupt count looking? Bro, let me look. Hold on. It's you, you than me. Oh my gosh. He's got 40. How is he so good? I have 40 or... You have 40 40? overall. Ashwind is next at 32. so many ads to us. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just gonna warlock gate over it. Like, oh, no. He's probably already checking to see if you're here, Scrub. Not if, uh... I'm sorry, my mic was muted. I've been talking, I'm like, I, 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 what's the problem here? Sorry, this is a ready check for a pulse. Uh, can everybody view my okay. stream in Discord, please? I'm gonna go over a couple things. Okay, um... Oh my god. Sorry. You can just call me Ragnon. Sorry, I'm just joking. I'm joking. Uh, okay, getting the markers here. I feel like it's weird. I always have to reorient myself. But, oh, wait, no. It's not quick. But yeah, it is. Okay, boss starts here. On star. Uh, just skipping everything up until the um, rings, double rings. Um, so let's say on the very first set of double rings, we just finished killing the boss here on triangle and the double rings are going to be the most inconvenient one, which is going to be star first and then green second. So in this scenario, as soon as we see that it's coming from star, we run over there and the DPS needs to be standing Something like this. Like, let's say there's black puddles right here where um, the smiley face is. The smiley face is just a bunch of poo. It's just bad. There shouldn't be, but there might be. Um, we can spread around it kind of like this. And then we just stand and wait for the second wave to pass over us. Um... We're going to change cooldowns a little bit to make this more comfortable because really stacking on top of each other like this in this situation on these two range DPS, this isn't a one shot. It's just a lot of damage. And then when the second wave comes over, then it's a one shot because you're already low. So what we're doing is we're changing throughput cooldowns. And what we're going to do is we're going to have, um, uh, we're going to alternate between uh, healing tide and salve and things like that um cooldowns that don't necessarily need to be channeled but are good for topping people up throughput cooldowns um and we're going to time those so that when the first wave hits everybody gets topped back up and then when the second wave hits uh we're healthy so that if overlaps like this happen it's not the end of the world we can we can recover um and so the new note is up. Please check. Uh, this means that we have less on the um, barriers, but we're going to change some DPS cooldowns potentially to um, to fix that. 
Uh, so as far as the second shield, let's actually t start with the second shield because that's actually easier. Um, the second shield happens at about 3 minutes and 18 seconds or so. Um, and so 3 minutes should be saved and popped for that. I didn't check it in the logs, but I'll guarantee you with how long it's taking us to kill that shield. First of all, we have a lot of people that are dead. Um, but in any case, 3 minutes should be saved for that. Because if you're just popping it on cooldown, you're popping it in this awkward like soak phase up here and it's not ideal and if you had just waited like 15 more seconds you could have popped it for this barrier and that's where we really need it so three minutes must be saved for this barrier um two minutes will be popped on pull and then they're going to come up after this barrier so just rip them on cooldown after the uh after the first barrier the first barrier was happening at about one minute 10 seconds so one minute classes should be comfortably up. I'm thinking like Unholy DK should save their second round of Blight Transformation stuff. Uh, Warrior, um, well, Warrior's 150, isn't it? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's up all the time. Okay. Uh, Priest is going to be, uh, if you're running the Shadowflame Prism build, it's it should be close uh, with Night Fae reducing it. It should be close to that window, but... Um, we need people uh, dedicating stuff here uh, so that this first barrier can be survived with just AMZs and, like, a Trank. Um, we might also just go ahead and dedicate uh, health stones here. Um, we'll see how it feels with just those two, but the big thing is throughput cooldowns are being shifted so that when you get hit by the first Halo, you're healthy, even if you were overlapping with one person or two. Um, so that when the second wave comes, uh, you have enough health to survive it. Um, same thing in the three ring phase. Um, we're going to be popping a throughput cooldown after we... So let's say the, the very first um, three ring phase, it goes inconveniently up to star. So we take the lock gate up to star. We take the damage. And then we use a throughput cooldown to heal us all up. We skip... The second one that's uh, coming from like here, it will come from here if it's coming starting from star. We skip the second one, and then we're healthy for when the third one hits. We can just kind of plant right about here in the middle of the room. There's no reason to be um, running around because it, the, our debuff will have fallen off by the time the third one hits if we're skipping the second one. So I go through the note. Yeah, let's go through the note real quick. So first Halo, nothing. Teleport, and then the second Halo phase. So, so this is this next Halo, Halo Two here. Is that the first double? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's the first of the doubles. So that's going to be Healing Tide. And then the next one is that a double or a triple? Is that the second of the doubles or the first? Second triple? of the doubles. Okay. So. After we get hit by the first one, I go, then the second one, you go, well, there's three, so you and Tux are over, lapping, you leaving, okay, a couple seconds, so we're basically just chaining our shit together. Um, I, I think it would also be good to, to pair a Convoke with those Halos, so for example, the first Halo, uh, on this two set, could be like Pinnick, Healing Tide, and Pizza Convoke. And then the second uh, set of Halos could be um, Cuck Salve. At Salve is plenty. We could we could just leave that. And then the first set of the three Halos would be uh, would be um, Mofo's Convoke. Okay, uh, luckily, Convoke's every one minute, so... Okay. We should both be able to be popping them for throughout all each Halo phase if we just hold it correctly. Okay, it might cool. take a minute to readjust. 